how's it going? Are we recording? Yes, we are. <laughs> recording. Okay. I have this container, which used to be a water container. This is the other part. I have, uh, this is a sanding block. This is the handle that goes on the lid there. I just took it off because it was... And altogether, it's a big water bottle, but it's too big for my refrigerator, so I cut it in half. And the plan, there's a plan, is to use this uh, for, like, soaking my brushes, uh, I think, soaking my brushes, so, or, you know, throwing things in it. I don't know what we use things for anyway. Throw things in it like duct tape rolls. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> That's... Uh, that was for the glue gun. Oh, I wanted to... So, the idea... Okay, so, I don't know. I haven't tried out this glue gun yet. This is a Bosch glue gun, and there's no on-off switch. You just plug it in and let it heat up. I hope it does a good job. I forgot that I had a little light there on the wall, one of those adhesive. You just uh, turn the dial, and... Also, I repositioned the camera. I just got done doing a video on, oh, um, making this little tray for, I call my monitor stand. And now what I want to do is, one, try out this glue gun because I haven't used it yet. And two, to add a line of glue to this edge. I did sand this down, that's why it's not cutting me while, as I'm running my finger over it. And it really wasn't that sharp to begin with. Let me put this, put this there. But maybe I might need to cut No, I'll just leave it. Um, but I thought, I kind of... I want this to be, like, to pick it up better. So if I have, like, a little... If I have glue, hot glue, over the edge here, that maybe I can use it as a, as a pick-me-up, and maybe I can use it as a brush rest, you know, type of thing. That's the idea that's going on in my head. <laughs> Is it ready? <gasps> it's ready! Yay! Okay. Okay, I have to yelling at the cat. Oh, it, uh, I don't know if it's ready or not. It takes a, a firm hand. So what I'm encountering right now is <coughs> can you see that? <laughs> is dipping. Dipping dots. No. <laughs> Let me see, just a minute. I wanna wanna know. Oh my. It's definitely dripping. So it's also melting it. That's one of the things that I was afraid would happen. Kind of. Well, you know, that might work in my favor if I can finagle the device. Perhaps. How easily does that come off? Pretty easily. Okay, so... I 
Let's see if I can do this again. I'm a shaking. It's a hard press. This is nothing, by the way, nothing like the minigun. Stringy, of course. I think that's a skill that I'm going to have to practice. Practice doing, I guess. Why do I put it like that? It definitely looks messier than what I was picturing it to do, so... But that's actually not... that's not too bad, right? Okay, let's see... Maybe I do it with my right hand. I have a more strength in my right hand. So, first to take the sharpness. Off of the edge. Boy, that's a hard, hard squeeze. I don't remember a glue gun having such a, such a tight, difficult squeeze to it. A trigger. Are you trigger happy? <laughs> Only with glue guns. Do I hear growling? Stormy is not taking kindly to the kittens. Like, um, after Blue was in quarantine so that Coconut wouldn't run him ragged after his surgery. After he came out, I let him... There we go. I let him out. too. Hey! Stormy! I don't know what to say to that. Get down. Coconut goes where Stormy is because she wants to be friends or it's some type of a uh, kitten takeover, you know? I mean, we've got two divas, two queens in the house. Stormy is 10 years old and Coconut is will be nine months old come Christmas Day. Oh no, no. Go away. Mommy. No. No. Come on. Over here. Come here. <clears throat> what is that smell? It smells spicy. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Hot. Hot gun. <laughs> Hot glue gun here. Okay, so this is... It dries very quickly, so that's good, right? I could probably peel it off, but I don't think I want to do that. So maybe I'll do like an edge. It's also kind of silicone-y, you know, kind of a, a rough non-slip feel like you might apply to socks, Tammy. <laughs> I just did a, a video oh, a few nights ago on how to make non-slip socks with glue. Glue and non-slip liners. The second video was more successful than the first one. So... The good thing about the big glue stick is I don't run out of it as fast as I do with the little glue sticks, of course, that makes sense. So, got a little string here, I was thinking, are those scratches? Nope, not scratches. And 
should probably keep track of the time since I can easily go over uh, I have about 15 minutes Okay, so that, uh-oh, when it's sticky and not quite, it's not hot, but hasn't quite <laughs> uh, dried yet, it gets, it gets like that, it's not hot, it's just like, okay, that's something to think about. Also, I heard that glue Hot glue makes for good erasers. So, I might see, I got like a penguin mold and I might throw some glue, hot glue into a penguin, silicone penguin mold and see if I can make an eraser. Also, I what I've been watching with the glue gun hacks is that if you put toothpaste, say, in a soda cap, plastic soda cap, it keeps the glue from sticking on the bottom of the glue of the cap. Sorry, not the glue. Oh, it's definitely melting inward. Would that be a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> Would that be good or bad? I don't know. I don't know. So I might make some erasers with this glue. We'll see how that goes. Since it dries pretty fast, I'm just gonna go around the edge here. I obviously don't know what I'm doing. But that's okay. Learn as I go. It just looks like, because it's clear glue, it just looks like I'm melting the top. The top of this thing. This is the part that I touched earlier. It was, like I said, it was warm, but it wasn't hot, and it definitely wasn't dried yet. Okay, so let that. So I think I'm going to let this dry and then take the mini glue gun and add a little color to it, you know, for grins and giggles. And then I did kind of reduce the size a little bit over here, but that's not, that's actually not too bad. It's still the size I wanted. It's not like, at least I didn't like glue gun all the way and keep going down, down, down and not notice until, <laughs> until there's nothing left. Right. Okay, I'm going to unplug this glue gun. And let that chill. Hey, how's it going? I'm I'm taking this blue stick, blue glue stick, and this glue mini glue gun, and I'm adding blue blue glitter, I guess, to the edge. Can you see that? Can you see that? And that's because I still have a clear stick in this glue gun. And in order to run it out and actually put this one in, <clears throat> that's a lot of glue, you know. So what I'm doing is I'm just melting the stick, the blue one, oh. while Stormy sings to us in the growly way. She must have encountered a kitten. <laughs> She's such a funny kitty. She's got to show who's the boss, you know. I'm the boss here, hello. Don't you kitties forget it. That's what she's saying.
Okay, so I did, um, can you see it? I did blue, blue glitter with uh, using this glue stick around the edge. And I'm going to, now I was thinking, oh, I'll just run out the clear and then put the, I have blue, and originally I had like purple out and pink. Maybe the yellow, but I have gold, so I think I'll try the gold instead of the yellow. Maybe red. I'm not sure. Oh, I just did those. It's a very light, light touch, light blue there. Kind of glistening, but that's seeming, that is working, so... I'm just going to keep doing that as long as I don't hit the trigger. I could do this. <laughs> but um, let me do some gold. Make it nice and hot here. Run it along the metal. Hope it doesn't clog my glue gun. Didn't really think about that. Ooh, that's a nice... That's a nice touch, the gold. I can get it down in there. show you. See the gold on the blue? Pretty cool. such a good thing or a bad thing that this is moving around. Maybe I can move a lot. <clears throat> Maybe get a little closer here. After this color, I'm gonna gonna use the green. There's probably an easier way to do this, but right now, you know, the nice hot metal tip of the glue gun. is helping out. I'm thinking using this glue glue tip is better than using the, the Bosch glue gun because that I think would be too hot. Uh, 
little more here. Yeah. Okay. So this is the the gold. I don't know how much of the I can see the gold through the screen a little bit. How much it's glittery. Okay. I'm gonna try the green. Green glittery, green, 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 green and glittery. And then the purple and maybe the pink. Maybe I might have to add a little more uh, gold back on. I'm not sure. I have to see. I might have to add a little more blue onto this. The hardest part is getting this started. Not bad. My tummy is talking to me. Pull off some of the glue strings. You see the green, the green glitter, the green, blue, and gold glitter. I definitely can pick it up a little in certain spots. Okay, I'm going to just add a little more of the blue here. Thing looks like a crayon now. I don't know if I'm going to do it in all the spots. I do see the blue. Where it looks kind of uh, lighter than I'd like it to be, I think that's where I'm going to add it. Other than the hairy string sticking off of it, <laughs> which I can pull off. That doesn't look that bad. Shabby chic, I guess. Is. So anything you see sticking off then, um, or sticking out strand-wise would be the glue hairs. Now I'm going to do the purple. So 
I think the easiest way here to get it started is to do it in the middle like that. And then just to use the, the nose of the glue gun here to kind of push off the color. The blend of the purple and blue and green and gold that looks pretty cool actually where's the spot that I saw that I got like uh, got the glue strings going on but I'll remove those concentrate on the color that looks awesome Yeah, man. So I'm going to add now pink to the mix. Maybe that'll bring out and maybe go back, with, like I said, with gold, with more gold. Okay. It's like I forget. kind of stopping because there are raised areas here probably from adding glue glue after glue after glue actually pretty nice I'm gonna add a little bit of gold around the edge again what is this galaxy right <laughs> too much galaxy stuff on YouTube Do this one. This is how I want to do it. I just want to brush it down or wipe it down. Sometimes that works, other times I switch to a different method. I guess I'm just trying to see what works best.
no one method works better than the other. And I think that has to do with these ridges of glue that I have. And that was created uh, from adding these different colors and then also from the base glue, which I used with the big glue gun, which I added with the big glue gun, big blue, the big green glue gun, actually. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I think I might wait for it to dry and then see what it looks like because it might look, it might look different once the colors have dried. What I've noticed with the purple stick, not, not this one. But um, from the other pack of colored glue sticks that I have, that purple turned into a very light <laughs> squeaky chair. <laughs> a very um, light pink in some portions. I'm going to show you <laughs> the, this is the liner that I put down on my sock to turn it into a non-slip sock. And you see this part, this was purple when it went on. It was like, um, like, I mean, let's see. it was like a lavender color. Like, a. it, this is more of a pinkish color. There's, I didn't add any pink. I just put purple on. And it turned pink after it dried. So I thought, well, that's weird. So I don't know if this purple is going to do the same thing. It would be kind of hard to notice. Because I do also have pink or magenta. So I have both of these, these colors on there. Okay. So really, the only thing I can do with these remaining... I must not have put a lot of green on because I hardly used any of the green. Can we see the green? Maybe I should do... The green is more on the inside, so maybe I'll add green to the outside. Okay, not quite done. Get a little more green on there. Okay, so I wanted to put the green more on the out, 
outside here, around here. You can see that. But it has, I really like the color. It's really cool. The good mix of colors. And then I will um, pull off the little strings. There's a couple of strings hanging off of here. Glue strings. When I first used the glue gun, the mini glue gun, it had been a while since I've used a glue gun and I burned my fingers <laughs> because that's why I don't use glue guns because they hurt. <laughs> so trying to be, it does make me a little uh, more cautious, which is good, you know. So it's good that it makes me more cautious because I'm more aware then, you know, what I'm doing. Don't get your fingers. Every once in a while, though, I lose my train of thought and I put my fingers where I'm not supposed to on the hot glue. End up gluing my fingers. So you probably didn't see that because I was up here. <clears throat> That's okay. I was just pulling the glue off. And of course, there are other spots on here, like uh, like this. There's a little piece right there. I'm not uh, I'm not going to really worry about getting that off. Maybe later. There are a lot of glue glue strings on here. Uh, so, but it's a nice. I like it. Like. So I said the reason I wanted to put glue on there was to take off the sharp edges, but now they're a little tiny glue, sharp glue edges, but they're not sharp, like sharp, sharp. So they're not going to cut me. <clears throat> Actually, I kind of like it. That That's kind of cool. It looks like a little, nice little decorative trim. Testing out the glue sticks, see if they work. And they do. So I'm going to turn that off because now I'm done. Now with these, the only way I can use them is just to do trim like that again. So I'm sure I'll try and think of ways to use them to put them to good use. Yeah, man. I don't know if I should take a picture. I'm getting ready to do my um, spinner spinner thing. I, I do one for each of the videos just in case I'm going to use that tail end. But this one, maybe... How would you do a video for that? Like, a thumbnail. <laughs> That's... Just, why do we think too much about thumbnails, I think? I don't know. If I had three hands, I would hold the glue gun in one hand, this in the other, and then snap a shot of the... I don't know if I want to use this. Smile! Smile for the camera. Okay, let's see. It, uh, uh, it was optimistic was the last one. Wait, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Spin, touch the button. Have a peaceful day.